Two teenagers are accused of shooting and killing an innocent mother in front of her young daughter. Deputies arrested 16-year-old Javon Joaquin and 17-year-old Deshaun Miller. The pair are behind bars right now in Polk County. And tonight we're learning that these two teenagers, they are no strangers to the law. News Channel 8's Melissa Marino joins us live from the Polk County Courthouse. We're talking lengthy rap sheets here, right, Melissa? Absolutely. I'm standing at the juvenile division where they faced a judge today, and I want you to take a look at just one of their rap sheets. We're talking about 20 felony charges. This has the sheriff calling for change. The teen's final moves caught on camera. Check out this newly released surveillance video from the Marathon gas station in Winter Haven. Investigators say this is Javon Joaquin and Deshaun Miller making a desperate getaway, stealing this car after shooting a mother in cold blood. The duo accused of shooting 27-year-old Kendra Lewis in the face in front of her 5-year-old daughter. Are you kidding me? Sheriff Grady Judd is furious. Deshaun Miller, who's 17, has 20 felony charges. And that lady would be alive today if we had those people locked up and detained like they should have been. Yet they weren't. Mr. Miller, you'd like to public defender? Until today, when a judge ordered they remain behind bars. Are you listening, legislators, that these innocent little darlings or being locked up when in fact all they need is therapy and counseling. Judd says the juvenile justice system is partly to blame and now an innocent family has to pay the price. Go to this lady's funeral and see the real victims. Go to this lady's funeral and look in the eyes of that five-year-old baby who doesn't have her mother. Just heartbreaking. These two teens will eventually be transferred back to Orange County to face first degree murder charges. Stacy? But I think many are wondering will they be charged as adults or stay juveniles in this case? Well, the sheriff says he has asked the state attorney to charge them as adults. Of course, this is something that we will keep following. All right. Melissa Marino, thank you.